What's up everyone? Welcome back to Makeup by Mama G. Today we're going to do a very easy Arabic tutorial using the Evil Bitch Paint Wheel from Bitch Slap Cosmetics. So if you guys want to see how I did this look, keep watching. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply my base and I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm just going to apply it all over my eye with my finger. So I'm just going to apply it so it's evenly over the entire lid, as well as underneath. Sorry if the kids are being a little loud. They're conversating over there talking about G.I. Joe's and whatnot. That's what boys do. The next thing I'm going to do is take some tape. And I'm just going to... Um, no, Kingston, you're going to wiggle the camera. So I'm just going to apply it to my hand first. I'll go be a couple of times so that way yeah. it's not so um, sticky and, and it doesn't hurt my, when you take it off. Is this you? Oh my god, piggy. You want me to do piggy on you? Yeah. Okay. I want to do piggy. Okay, hold on. Let me just put this on. So I'm just going to put this I onto my eye piggy. so that we I get that um, nice strong uh, edge. Sorry, the kids are right here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil, and I'm just going to apply this all over the lid as well. This is just going to help make that blue and the teal kind of color a lot brighter. Nate, turn that down, please. Turn that down. Can't have it too loud. So I'm just going to apply this all over. You could turn it up once, but you turned it up a little bit too loud. It's going to end up being in the background of this video. We can't have that. So I'm just going to bring this all the way up to the brows. So now I'm going to take the Evil Bitch Paint Wheel, which looks like this. It's really, really pretty. Can you see the sparkle? Okay, so I'm going to take the dark blue. This one right here. And I'm using Sigma's 239 brush. It's just an eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to pack this color on. And by packing it on, it, I mean that I'm going to press it, pat it onto the lid. I don't want to start blending right away because this is a very dark, dark look. So I'm just patting this. This is going to go in the inner half of the lid, boys. Boys. Come on, it's time to wind down. It's almost bedtime. It's almost bedtime. Yeah, it's almost bedtime. Okay, then go lay down in my bed. So, go ahead, go lay down in my bed. And the, re the other reason why I'm patting this on is because all the sparkle that's in here, if you blend it out, all the sparkle is going to be gone. And I want the sparkle to stay. I, I personally love the sparkle. Um, but... For those of you who think that, you know, it's too much sparkle, once you blend the colors out, all the sparkle falls off of the lid. Okay. I'm going to take this um, a little bit farther than halfway. Again, I'm just patting it. And then, now, what I'm going to do with the same brush is just going to sweep it out. So that way, the lines aren't too harsh. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my blending brush. This is Sigma's 224. I'm going to now pick up that dark turquoise kind of color, teal, whatever color you want to call it. I'm going to pack it on onto my brush, like so. And then I'm going to apply this above this blue and up to the brow bone. So I'm starting on the outer part. And I am dragging the color inwards to the tear duct area. Now because I'm using a blending brush, this is going to keep the color nice and soft. So you can keep adding color along the way if you want to darken it up just like I am. If you want to keep it nice and soft, you guys can just leave it as soft as you'd like. So with my Sigma 275 brush, it's just an angled eyeshadow brush. I love this brush. It's super soft. I'm going to pick up that sparkly black, this one right here. I'm just going to load it onto the brush. And then I'm going to start on the outer edge, right here. And I'm just going to pack on the color. I'm not going to bring it all the way to the top. I'm going to bring it about this high. 
and then I am going to keep picking up color and add color along the way that black I'm going to bring it until it hits that blue right here that's where I'm going to start blending the two together so I'm just bringing this color in blending it into the blue and then right here I'm just going to blend that edge out I still want that turquoise color to be there so I'm going to blend that black edge out so it fades up into that turquoise so now I'm going to use the 252 brush again another Sigma brush I'm going to pick up the white eyeshadow now and I'm going to apply this right under my brow as my highlight I'm going to keep picking up color along the way and then I'm going to blend it out and down into that turquoise color that we have that way it just looks nicely blended together. And then I'm also going to apply it in the tear duct area and along that whole outer part. I'm just blending it into the turquoise color. It's just going to give this nice, um, it's going to go from like a turquoise to a lighter turquoise to like a white. So it's going to look totally, totally cool. So now I'm going to take off the tape. And now we have that sharp, sharp edge that we were going for. And this is where I'm just going to look at the edge and see if I need to blend it out just anymore. And I do need to just a tiny bit where this black part is. I just need to blend it up more into that blue or turquoise. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I'm going to take a little bit more of the NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil. I'm just going to apply it right in the inner part of the bottom lash line because I am going to apply a little bit of that turquoise color just to the very beginning of it. Hey, Kingston, leave the hats alone. So with the angled brush, I'm just going to pick up some of that turquoise color and I'm going to apply that right into the inner part of the bottom lash line. Nay, can you fix my hats, please? You guys are knocking them over. So now I'm going to take Graph Black Liner from MAC. This is a technical liner. It's waterproof. I just got this this weekend from MAC. So I'm going to apply this to my waterline. So what I'm going to do now is take a liner brush. This is just a flat eyeliner brush from Costco. I'm going to pick up some more of that black. Nathaniel, you're going to make the camera move, buddy. And I'm just going to apply this right above that liner that we used earlier. I'm kind of dabbing it so that way we get some sparkle on the bottom lash line as well. And then when I get to this oh, point where the blue is, I'm just going to blend nasty. the two together. Okay, so I already applied my Telescopic Explosion Mascara to both of my lashes. And then I applied Red Cherry F001. These are the ones that I'm wearing. Now what I did was I put some lash glue on the back of my hand. And now I'm just taking one rhinestone, I got this packet, or jar, tube, well jar packet, tube of rhinestones, I got this from Walmart in the um, craft section. And with my tweezers, I'm going to pick up the rhinestone, so that way the back of it is facing down into the glue. So I'm just going to sit it into the glue, and then I'm going to wait like 10-15 seconds for this to get tacky, and then I'm going to apply it right here. So, once this gets sticky, we'll apply it on. I already applied my foundation and my concealer. Now I'm just going to contour. Turn it down, Nate. More. I can't have that stuff in the background, Nate. Now I'm just going to get on my forehead as well as my temples. I'm also going to get my jawline right here. Was that you? And then with a blending brush, I'm just going to pick up these two colors. <laughs> and I'm just going to contour my nose, you? starting at the yeah. brow, bringing it down you to the there? bottom of my nostril. Mm -mm. Oh my not? Okay, so for blush, I'm just going to pick up something light because I want the eyes to be the main thing. 
So I'm just going to pick up this pink right here. It's a nice, soft pink. Okay, see that. I'm just going to use my contour brush again. just going to pick a little bit up. Apply it to the apples of my cheeks. Nate, what are you doing? I'm going potty. Oh, okay. So to add a little bit of glitter onto the cheeks, I'm just going to take that contour brush Wait, again. And I'm going to take Max Belightful mm -hmm. Iridescent Powder. Oh, it just has a lot of pretty glitter in it. <laughs> so I'm going to pick a little bit up. Hey, keep it down, boys. And apply that to <laughs> the highlight area okay. above my cheekbones. I'm also going to apply just a little bit going down the nose, my T-zone, and my chin. Okay, so now that we are done with that, we're going to go straight to the lips. I'm going to uh, apply the Lady Gaga Viva Glam Lipstick. You guys, keep it down. I have a little bit of chapstick on, so let's dab that off. I'm just going to apply this. I love this lipstick. I got both the Lady Gaga and the Cindy Locker lipstick this weekend. I got lucky because they sold out. And they just got a stock right before I got in for my appointment. So, so now I'm gonna pick up Bitch Labs Lip Luster. They are brand new, back in stock, and this is the one in Satinizer. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty just glitter all over the place. So I'm gonna apply a little bit on the back of my hand because I don't want to get. Um, my brush dirty, but the brush is a brush tip applicator. It's super soft. Now again, this color is just super, super glittery. It's gorgeous. Let me show you guys on my hand. See, that's what it looks like. So I'm just using my finger and just going to dab this all over the lips just for some shine. Like so. And remember, these lip lusters, they are a lip plumper. So they're going to make your lips look a whole lot voluptuous. And I personally love them. I love big lips. So that is the final look, guys. I hope you guys like it. Again, it was a simple, it was a simple Arabic tutorial, right? And... Be sure to check these out. They're going to be on sale this week. Look on the weekly specials at bitchslap-cosmetics.com. If you guys um, so happen to tune into it when it's in maintenance, uh, maintenance should be done sometime um, on Wednesday. So get this while well, you can. Look at all that glitter. Look at all that glitter. Here's the final look, everyone. Hope you guys liked it. Bye. Okay, Piggy. I will do Piggy, Piggy for you. Hold they on. want to do Piggy, too. Okay, hold on. Kingston I go first. first. Kingston's right here. Okay, ready? <laughs> How do you do? Show them your Piggy face. Piggy. Go Piggy. Oink, oink. Oink, oink. Okay, Nate's turn. No, I want, I want to have the vampire teeth. Okay, come here. Your turn, Nate. Come on, hurry up. i got to get back to my video. Come here. I want to do it. I want to... No, you were not going to play with my jewelry. Come here. Hurry up. Hi. Okay. Piggy number two. Show them your piggy nose. Okay. Go. Go sit down.